Take a half a cup of sweetness and a tablespoon of spice and add some caring. To a little pinch of patience and a pound of good advice, put in some sharing. Then saute a little wisdom and combine it with the sharpness of a scallion. Take some temper and some tenderness and stir it till it's definitely Italian. Pasta maker, pepper shaker, taste a ticker, white as an acre, mama in the world, and all that mama Malone. She's the best of baker, honey cake, and no mistake, a pasta maker, pepper shaker, taste a ticker, white as an acre, mama in the world, and all that mama Malone. She's the best of baker, honey cake, and no mistake. Cooking with Mama Maloney, uh, show number 7658. Clear camera, 25 seconds. Come on, come on. Watch your hands, Henry. Me, I'm a married man, Mama. So is Mussolini. Go, go, go. I need a little bit. Are you little gorgeous? Ready, music in and out. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I cross my heart, I will. And five, Thank you. four, three, two. Cue music. And out. From Brooklyn, where else? New York, direct from her very own kitchen, from her very own apartment, your favorite pasta chef and mine, Mama Renata Maloney. And here she is. Here's Mama. Hello, my name is Mama Maloney, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to make lasagna. Not ordinary lasagna, my own lasagna con amore. Lasagna with love. <laughs> oh, don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so, anyone can cook from a recipe. The secret is to cook with this. So a few tears fall in the salsa to pomodoro, so what? A little laughter over the anchovies? Anchovies could use them. If you can't cook with love, stay out of the kitchen. Now, the first thing you need is a big pot. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Grandma. What kind of greeting is that? I gotta go. You just got here. Tony Carlo, she's waiting for me. We got all two boys practice. Frankie, the treasure of my life, this one is, huh? If you blame me, look at that fat <laughs> Ah, I can't breathe when you do that. <laughs> So, so, how was school today? This will only take a minute. What do you mean? I mean, how was school today? What do you want to know for? I'm your grandmother. Every day you come home from school and I ask you, how was school today? And every day you tell me. I do? Every day. One day it stinks, the next it's okay. Another you had a fight with Mario Lambretti. Another it's he's your best friend. But usually it's, it stinks. Well, today was great. Can I go now? Right? But his age school is never great. I smell some kind of fish. Anyway, about this lasagna. Last week we made the noodles, you remember? And we hung them up to dry. Well, one of you wrote in. You hung them in the bathroom. Your husband came home and took a shower and ruined them. Well, what do you expect? Recipes I can give you. Brains I can't. Dishes. About this much. The recipe says six quarts. That's what I said. This much. Exactly six quarts. Why don't you just read the recipe today? When I do read it, you tell me I don't sound natural. Pretend it's natural. That's what they pay you for. Ah, oh, you're going to have a heart attack if you keep this up. <laughs> I know about heart attacks. My poor, dead, dearly departed papa, Salvatore Foresti was his name. Maybe some of you know him. May you rest in peace. Papa! <laughs> He got upset over the World Series. The Dodgers were playing the... <coughs> the New York... <laughs> the New York Yankees. This was when they were still the, the Brooklyn Dodgers, like they should have stayed. The Yankees are the ones who should have moved. Anyway, my mama... <laughs> My mama 
Mama was making Rallatini di Fratello. <laughs> and Papa was sitting right there. The Yankees won and Papa keeled right over. <laughs> I never liked baseball. Eh? <laughs> I never liked Rallatini di Fratello either. <laughs> Can you remember where we were? After that story? Water. 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 What? Those six quarts of yours. <laughs> See, it's like this with me, a measurement. You just gotta know these things. Now, while we're waiting for it to come to a boil, and don't forget to put in a few drops of olive oil so the noodles shouldn't stick together. Who else is gonna tell you these things? Eh? <laughs> Isn't that stuff? Wait. There. I am gonna show you how to make a really nice, thick, rich, Napolitano tomato sauce. Where's Father Guadiano? Oh, Father! Oh, oh, I'm so pleased you came. How are you? Oh, you look wonderful, Father. And you sound even better. Thank you. To the bone they've worked this poor man. So, tell me, who won bingo last night, Father? Mrs. Carlucci? Who? That's the third time this month, Father. People are starting to talk. So what brings you up four flights? It must have been something important. Sit, sit down, Father. Sit! Please, wait, wait, wait. Don't. Over. You want some water? Water? No, no. Wine. Wine? Sit there, Padre. Get your breath away. You lose some weight. My late husband had a real problem with this stuff. Only he went for something a lot stronger than Vino Rosso. But you don't want to get me started. I'm pleased Lieutenant Patrick Kevin Malone. <laughs> the only thing he left me besides our daughter, and you don't want to get me started on that one either, was his name, which my people pronounce Malone A. Like pronouncing it Italian would make it and me less Mick than Malone, which is how his people pronounced it. <laughs> I was just showing everyone how I make that special lasagna of my... <laughs> That's enough, Audrey. This is my program. <laughs> Excuse me. It's open. I know I should lock. I can remember this neighborhood when you didn't have to lock. They said it was okay to come on up. Thank God my daughter Connie isn't here to see this. She'd crawl through broken glass on her hands and knees for that type. <laughs> can I help? Ay, 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 madre de Dios y todos los santos. Now that's Italian. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Senora. <laughs> the padre was in... Speak! I got a new assistant, but I don't think you're gonna like him. That's crazy. I like everyone. Well, give or take a few. I'm Father Silva, but I'd like you to call me Jose. The diocese thought the padre here could use a little help taking care of things, and I'm going to need you. I wanted you to be the first to know. But to say, el mio braccio destro, signora, you are my right arm. He said nobody makes a move in this neighborhood without you knowing about it. You know what he calls you, don't you? The godmother. Thanks a lot, Padre. Where did he come from? Puerto Rico. What is happening to Holy Mother Church? What's happening to that lasagna? She'll get to it. With all these people running in and out? <laughs> They're all part of the lasagna. This is what they want, kid. Father Silva. Uh, call me Jose. Father Silva. Uh, this is a, a very old, very traditional, very family neighborhood. We don't want any more changes. The mass in English was the last straw. La Misa in Inglés, that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, priests spoke English full time. And they didn't go around looking like some Harlem Global trot. Unfortunately, we have a problem on our hands. What problem? Your grandson. Mario Lambretti says Frankie stole his lunch money. And you believed him? It doesn't matter what I believe. Sister Philomena believes it. So long, Grandma. Frankie. I can't do it. <laughs> Frankie, where are you going? Uh, baseball. What happened to altar boys? Oh, yeah, first them, then baseball. There's no altar boys practice today. I thought there was. Frankie, you asked me that this morning, and I told you no. Oh, yeah. I must have forgot. <laughs> I'll see you later, Grandma. Frankie. I didn't do what I said. <laughs> I'll take care of this. Thank you.
Kid brother, Dino Foresti, the pop singer. Maybe you heard of him. He comes around once a week for some of my cooking. He never should have moved. I... All Dino wanted was a debut at La Scala or the Met. Tell me, was that so very much to ask for? Hold it, hold it. Get it. No, no. Matthias, you see me here just in time. <laughs> She's always making accusations against this treasure. There's only... Mario said he saw him, Mom. Did you take it? No! Look at me, Frankie! I keep saying no. Now, what do you want of him? I want the truth! I need you! Then why would you go for me? I want the truth! Hey, Frankie! 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 Fr
Yeah? I'll have to confess it when I go to confession. The sin of doubting your own grandchild. Your mother's gonna double your allowance next week. I'm gonna watch. And your uncle's gonna take you and the whole class to the Statue of Liberty. Well, That's about? how bad we feel for doubting. I don't feel so bad. Okay, okay. Listen. Get out of the cocaine program. Quiet. <laughs> now, we are now going to heat some olive oil. And a nice hunk. A butter. That's three tablespoons of oil and two of butter. Don't mind him. If you're always worried about two of this and three of that, you're not cooking, you're counting. And don't take my word for it. He gave you taste buds. Use them. <laughs> we are going to cook the onion until it is wilted. Onions, please. Mm. <laughs> you hear that? Italian cooking, it's so dramatic. Excuse me. They said this might be yours. They were taking my hubcaps. I stopped them from taking your wheels. <laughs> Give me that. That car cost me two weeks in Vegas in the Texas State Fair. Well, hello there. Hello. Come here, Connie. Excuse me. Believe me, I know from whence I'm speaking of. Uh, I crawl through broken glass on my hands and knees for that time. <laughs> After you confess this one, that will seem like a very light penance. Okay, I have to say... Don't stand there. Come on in. You must be Frankie's mother, Mrs. Uh... Tara Macopolis. By the time I learned to pronounce it, we were already divorced. That's right, Jezebel. Flaunt it. <laughs> Call me Connie. Connie. You are? Oh. I'm hoping I can get everyone to call me Jose. I don't see any problem there unless your name is Betty. <laughs> Father Silver sounds so old fashioned. <laughs> Father Silver? Please, call me Jose. You don't mind, I think I'll just stick with Father. Oh, five minutes. Five minutes! I can hear her. You're here on account of what happened at Frankie's school. Your today. mother's taking care of it. If Frankie said he didn't do it, his word is good enough for me. It is? Right, Father? Oh, right. A man's word is the only thing he has that nobody else can take away from him. He can only lose it himself. <gasps> That's another thing we got in Manhattan. Elevators. <laughs> that is the last time I bring that car to this neighborhood. I had better luck when I took the subway. You didn't miss anything? Why don't you all go over to Sister Philomena's office, hmm? And tell her that Frankie didn't do it. Ma! Now, 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 she will believe you. Ma, I'll go with you. <laughs> Frankie, too? He's gonna stay here and help me. <laughs> Good. Frankie, you come and stir the tomato sauce and see that it doesn't burn. Dino? Ah, you didn't forget my gnocchi. But I forget you are my gnocchi. <laughs> Not only does she cook well, this woman is a saint. I almost forgot. For all you music lovers out there, for all you lovers, period, I'll be at Sam's Chit Chat Club in Tulsa, Friday through Sunday. Good job. Arrivederci. Uncle Vito, you want to give us a lift over to Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow? Come on. Roma. Sometime today I got to get back to work. Where's that? Paolo's Pizza Patio, the best pizza in Brooklyn. I'll have to try it. Yeah? Not dressed like that. You drive all the girls. Chama. <laughs> Father Silva. I owe you an apology. You owe me some of that lasagna. <laughs> well, that's some mother you got. Going over to your school and facing that crabby sister Philomena for you like that. Of course, she wouldn't do it if she didn't believe you. That's the best thing about a mother, they always believe you even when no one else does. <laughs> You'd have to be pretty stupid to break that kind of trust. Well, you believe me, don't you? Don't stop stirring. I got a great the Parmesan. What'll happen to whoever took the money? 
Do you think you'll go to hell? No. But I can think of something almost as bad happening. What's almost as bad as hell? People not believing you. People thinking you're a liar. There's nothing worse than that. Well, I can think of worse things. <laughs> yeah, I can too, come to think of it. The worst thing about a liar is that for a little while, other people believe him because they love him. And that makes other people liars too. That's a terrible thing to do to someone you love. Jackson cards I have duplicates and he doesn't have any of. I bet if you did all of that and you really meant it. I do, except for my trading card. I bet he'd tell people how he found his lunch money, how it only lost it. And then you two could have what really happened. That's a very special secret between you. It's the kind of secret we can have, Grandma. We all could. What do you say? And if you could get that money back to him before your mother gets to Sister Philomena's office, then she won't be a liar even for five seconds. I don't want her to be a liar ever. And I have the strangest feeling that if all this happens, you'll never find yourself in a situation like this again. I have the best gram of the whole world. Oh, I don't know about that, Frank. I do, I do. Well, well if you insist. I'll see after I get back my word of honor as a man. <laughs> Mama. What? Nice going. <laughs> but I think the sauce is burning. <laughs> oh, oh, will you look at that? Oh, it's ruined. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't feel like lasagna anyway. How'd you like to make, uh... City al forno. Good. Kill music. It'll have to wait. Time's up, Mama. But I, I, I'm just starting. Do it now. Now, you take some Mama's oil. recipe next week is... Super well, credit. Marano. We're having City al forno. Cooking. We're out of time. Mama Maloney yeah. has come to you direct. I need an hour. Who do I talk to about getting an hour? Her very own kitchen. From her very own apartment. From She's your very own kitchen. I need an hour. Uh, I need an hour. Who do I talk to about Maloney. getting an hour? Uh, an hour. Because that was not 30 minutes. I know, I know 30 minutes. I know 30 minutes. 